Welcome back to First at Four continues a very hazy look over Walton Way right now looking from our Walton Way camera here so you can see a lot of smoke out there and that is from some local prescribed burns going on right now. We're looking at sunny conditions, believe it or not, definitely seeing some clouds though starting to push in now. So we'll see these icons likely turn at least mostly sunny to partly cloudy and we're keeping those winds nice and light, mainly below uh, at least 10 miles an hour or below there out of the north and east or variable with direction. As far as visible satellite though, uh, we're starting to lose it as that sun gets lower in the sky, but you can definitely see a little bit of a smoke plume here in Southern McCormick County and another one here in Western Richmond County near Fort Eisenhower, where we have had some prescribed burns going on for today. So those burns are leading to some pretty uh, hazy conditions outside. You can also see the sea breeze here along the coast of South Carolina kind, kind of firing up. No showers or storms associated with that, but just pretty cool to start to see that become more active as we are heading through spring and approaching summer. But as far as the radar, we're nice and dry. Again, just watching for these clouds, high clouds it looks like that'll be streaming through for the next few hours. As far as looking at that evening planner, any plans you do have should be in good shape. We'll keep things on the dry side and uh, milder through about 8 p.m. We'll see some 60s though coming in after sunset, so it could be a tad cool out there, but still a pretty comfortable feel for any outdoor activities. As far as low temperatures tonight, we are going to see those in the 50s, uh, so closer to average as we head towards tomorrow morning, and then we are going to see a pretty cool start with some clouds, it looks like, for tomorrow as we head through your Friday, and then again Saturday, still looking pretty cloudy out there. High temperatures both days, still able to get near 80, it looks like, and we are going to have to watch out for an isolated shower or two as we head through your Friday and Saturday as well. Let's take a look at it. Going through tonight into tomorrow, you can see that cloud cover definitely picks up heading into Friday morning, according to this in-house model that we do have, and then we'll keep things mostly dry it looks like for the first part of our Friday could see some of those isolated rainfall chances though working in as we're heading past midday into the afternoon hours of our Friday temperatures could be able to get near the mid 70s to upper 70s, but you can see where cloud cover may be a little bit thicker will be in those low 70s. It looks like for tomorrow heading into our Saturday. We'll keep things on the cloudier side. That'll help our morning stay a little bit closer to about 60. It looks like and then we'll see those temperatures back near 80 for highs and still tracking that chance for an isolated shower as we head throughout your Saturday afternoon. Saturday evening into Sunday morning does look to dry out, but still hanging on to some clouds even into our Sunday morning and we should be able to see some sunshine coming back by later into our Sunday afternoon. Afternoon. But as far as rainfall chances, a very low chance for an isolated shower. It looks like tomorrow and Saturday, Sunday and Monday, we get rid of those rain chances completely. And then Tuesday, we'll have to watch out for some rain chances moving back in, maybe even the potential for a storm or two, but still a little bit too far out to kind of pinpoint that exact storm threat. As far as looking at the car wash forecast, though, for the next three days, it looks pretty good. Rain chances, again, very slim to none. So wouldn't be a bad idea to get out there and wash the car as we head through the weekend. Uh, it looks like the weather should cooperate for the most part. But again, that isolated shower cannot be ruled out for Friday and Saturday. Sunday, we're a lot drier, and then we crank the heat up heading through next week with upper 80s by Tuesday. Thank you, Miguel.